Hey everyone, welcome back and let's write some more neat code today. So today let's solve leak code 234 palindrome linked list. So we're given a singly linked list and we just want to know is it a palindrome or not? True or false? Yes or no? Now what even is a palindrome? That if you don't know what that is, that should be your first question. It's basically the reverse is equal to the originals. One that I've heard a lot is race car. If you look at it backwards, each character is identical. So even if you reverse it, it's the same. So in the first example, they gave us one and two in a linked list, but we know one and two are not the same. So this is not a palindrome. In the second example, we got a one, two, to one, this is a palindrome because you can reverse it and the characters are equal, so we return true. Now what's the easiest way we can do this? Now this is a linked list problem, but can we, linked lists are kind of annoying, right? Because you got pointers and stuff. Can we just change this problem? Can we just make it a little easier? Can we just take this, put it inside of an array, and then solve the problem like that because with an array, we know we can just use indices, right? We can just use index one, index zero, index one, so on, right? We can do the same thing with this one. So that's the easiest solution, right? Now, what do you notice about that solution? We need extra memory, right? So the memory is gonna be O of N, but we see here in the follow-up, can you do it in linear time, O of N time, but constant space? O of one space, so no extra array. Can we do it without an extra array? And the answer to that is yes. But before I do that, I'm gonna code up this array solution because it's actually not a bad solution. So we're just gonna take this linked list and put it inside of an array. So I'm gonna call that nums. So our, po our head pointer, while we haven't reached the end of the list, I'm just gonna take every single value and append it to our array. So head.value, add that, and then update our pointer. And now we can do the array algorithm to check if this is a palindrome or not. We don't even need to use the linked list anymore. So I'm gonna use a left and right pointer. The left pointer is gonna be at the beginning. The right pointer is gonna be at the end. And while these pointers don't cross each other, I'm gonna check that they have the same character to ensure that this is a palindrome. If it's not, so if nums of left does not equal nums of right, then we know this is not a palindrome. So we can stop searching, we can stop doing everything, we can instantly return false. If we don't find that, and our entire loop is finished executing, then at the end, we can return true. We know that it is a palindrome for sure. And of course, don't forget to update your pointers. So we're gonna be incrementing our left pointer and we're gonna be decrementing our right pointer after every iteration of the loop. You can see that this is definitely not a bad solution. It's fast and it doesn't use that much memory. So how can we make it better? How can we do it in O of one memory? As you can see, there's a technique, two pointers. One pointer is gonna be fast and one pointer is gonna be slow. Now, why are we doing it like this? Why do we have a fast pointer and why do we have a slow pointer? Here's the main idea. If both pointers start at the beginning and let's say our slow pointer moves one spot ahead and our fast pointer moves two spots ahead, then when that's the case, when our fast pointer reaches the end of the list, our slow pointer should be somewhere near the middle, right? And so this is the idea. We already know how to get to the beginning of the list, right? Now we've reached the end of the list as well. That's good. Now we also know where the middle is, right? So then we can basically check, right? 
we can start going like this. We can check the beginning and the end and then keep doing that and checking if it's a palindrome just like we did with our array algorithm. The only problem is these pointers, right? They only go in one direction because it's a singly linked list. But we know there's an algorithm to reverse a linked list and that's exactly what we can do. So starting from here where our middle is, right, where our slow pointer ends, we can start reversing the linked list. And once we've reversed the linked list, then it's easy to check if it's a palindrome or not. And again, we can do this in constant memory. We do have to change. We do have to update our data structure though, which is kind of annoying. We do have to change the pointers, but we don't need an extra array or anything like that. So we're gonna have two pointers. Fast is gonna be initialized at head. Slow is also going to be initialized at the head. Now we're going to keep shifting our pointers until fast is either null or at the end of the list or it is at the last node. So we're going to keep updating our pointers and the condition is while fast is not null and fast.next is not null. What this means is that we're going to keep going until fast is either at the last node, which is this case, or it's at, or it has reached null. And our fast pointer is going to be updated twice. So fast dot next, fast dot next. I guess the better explanation for why this condition is like this is because since we are updating our, we're shifting our fast pointer twice we need to make sure that there are enough nodes for us to at least shift. And our slow pointer is only shifted once. And we can condense this if we want to, which I'm going to do. So fast.next.next. .next. So this is find middle, and it's the middle is going to be the slow pointer. Now we wanna know if it's a palindrome, but before we do that, we have to reverse the second half of the list. So reverse second half. So let's start reversing. I'm gonna have a previous node and it's gonna be null. And we're gonna start at slow and keep going until we reach the end of the list. So let's store the next node, the node after slow in a temporary variable because we're gonna be updating that pointer. And we can set slow.next now equal to the previous node, which we wanted to be null. We can also update previous now set to slow. And slow is gonna be set to the temporary variable, which is the next node. It's a little bit confusing with pointers, but I hope you get like the main idea. So now we've reversed the second half of the list. So this is basically an, an illustration of what we did. We took this pointer and reversed it, and we took this pointer and we sort of reversed it. This is basically what the new linked list looks like. So now you can see that this one is gonna flow this way to the two, and it's gonna flow this way to the next two. But so starting at so starting at the end, we're gonna flow to this one, then we're gonna flow to this two. So now it's not so difficult to check if this is a palindrome, right? If we start at the beginning and at the end, we can do it pretty easily. So now let's do the last thing, actually check if it's a palindrome. So we need the beginning and end pointers. So the left and right pointers. The left pointer is head. How do we get the last node, which is what we want our right pointer to be? Previous, luckily for us, is going to be at the last node because slow is gonna be null, so previous should be the last null. Remember, the loop will stop executing because slow is at null, previous is just one behind it, so the right node is gonna be set to previous. And the condition we're gonna keep going is while right is non-null because 
when we that's why we initialized our previous to null because at the midpoint once it reaches the midpoint so once our right pointer reaches the midpoint we can stop executing we can stop checking if it's a palindrome so now we can do mostly the same thing we did with our array solution so if left dot val does not equal right dot val it's definitely not a palindrome in which case we can return false Otherwise, we're going to update our pointer. So left equal left dot next. And right is going to be right dot next. And we're going to keep doing that until we either return false or the loop stops executing, which we can return true because then we know it's a palindrome. And it wouldn't be a neat code solution without a bug. So of course, I put an extra E here like I always do. And so we can see that this is a bit faster, 89%, took a lot more code. It's a clever solution. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you wanna support the channel, please